So I have a bunch of vehicles today and I don't have a lot of time to go super in depth on one topic with one, one car. So we're gonna go more in depth with one topic on lots of different cars. Um, so in this video, as the title says, we're gonna be tucking a bunch of window film over and over and over. So here I have a uh, 2011 Camry. Pretty straightforward. You get one of these guys. It's called the shank. You just pry back this seal. And then you're done. That's it. We're just gonna be doing that over and over and over. So I'm using a razor blade on this one just because the seal will start to basically deteriorate up along this top edge. For the most part, I don't use razor blades on a lot of windows. All right, so, um, so this is a 2011 Camry, like I said before, but we're just on the uh, driver's side. So really, I just sweep out the bottom with some water and then my film is dry, so I have to re-wet that along the bottom. And I'll also take the opportunity to kind of flush it out. Um, and then I'll start at one corner, peel the seal back just a little bit, and then I'll try and slide it forward. And you'll get this going on here. Um, so then I'll pick it up, try and do the same with the, with the other corner. It'll change a little bit from seal to seal as well. It, it depends on how far down the film is going and then uh, just how tight the seal is. So this has really loose sides and then the rest of it's just like, you know, just zoop. So there's something also blocking this right here. So I can't, usually this shank can go all the way down, but not on this one, apparently. Um, so all these patterns are gonna be plotter cut. Um, so I can't really speak to how far down I'm tucking them. Um, it's good enough. You know, I'm not gonna go into like double seals or anything like that. General rule of thumb for me is if you get it a little bit below the, uh, the first seal, it's been fine. You might have the occasional window peel on you, but if you make sure all your edges are locked down, you shouldn't have a problem with it. Just give it a couple days to dry and you'll be fine. This is what I was talking about with the seal deteriorating. Right in here, you can see all this black just from the rubber seal. It just kind of bakes off and sticks to the glass. So this right here, that's gross. That'll make your window look like crap. All right, so now we're over to the driver's door. The passenger door is already done. I didn't have this idea until I did the passenger door and I figured, hey, I'm just gonna show you this over and over. So on the, on the front doors, it tapers a little bit. So you're gonna have a little bit less room here, but you have a lot of space here. And this also uh, depends on how tight these seals are as well, like your little pinch points here where this film comes up and then locks into this side. Sometimes you can get little folds and that's completely normal. So I'm just gonna peel this back and then again, flush this out. You're basically, from car to car, it's all gonna be pretty much the same. So I'm gonna kind of fold this corner up a little bit. If you start on the front or the back, it doesn't really matter. The main part is I wanna get this nice little bend here, tuck in one corner, go to the other side. Now I got more space over here. So this one, again, I don't have to do a lot to. Pull that one up and then create this ripple effect that goes down the whole window. And then just sweep that that way. And that's all there is to it. All right, so 2019 Chevy Silverado. You're gonna see a lot of similarities between this and the rear doors on the Camry. Um, that I just did earlier. So wash it out. Again, I'm gonna flush my seal. And then we're just gonna peel one corner back, peel another corner back, but for here, just, and then go ahead and just sort of slide it like down and left. And then it starts to pinch here. So we're gonna go do the other side. 
again, down and left. And then you'll start to see like this nice little ripple across here. We're gonna roll this film up and now it's all sitting above the seal and I got my corners and then I'll start here and I'll pry this back and pull it this way. And then it'll all just kind of start to roll in real nice. And I didn't have to struggle with it at all. So for this one, I wanna show you guys a little bit of a different perspective outside looking in. Now if I need to clarify something, I guess we'll switch it around to the other view. Or maybe I'll just bounce back and forth. But same old, same old. Peel my liner back flush out the bottom, and then I'm going to fold up one corner, peel back my seal, and then tuck it in. And then same with the other side. And then roll the whole bottom. So I got this nice straight line across, and then I'm gonna peel back one side. It doesn't matter which way you go. Roll the whole thing in. Um, just whatever's comfortable for you. Um, I think uh, on the driver's side, I went from like the back to the front, and on this side, I went from the front to the back, but that's just basically left to right is what I was doing on that. So you could do it either way, and it entirely depends on what just seems to be working out better for you. Um, and you can alternate. You know, you can always go from one side to the other, like the bigger side to the smaller side, like whatever works for you. All right, so here is door number four, um, the back door on the Chevy Silverado. It's gonna look an awful lot like the Camry and the uh, front door on the Silverado. I got nice tall sides to work with. The seals are pretty loose. So again, one corner, corner two, and then bring up the middle a little bit. We're just gonna get a little bit faster for some of these so you guys can kind of see, you know, a general flow. If this happens too, by the way, you can either try and press it in with this, like if you can catch it right, or you can just like try and sweep it in, but be careful. Sometimes it like, it doesn't go in super like smooth all the way. It just kind of rolled on itself a little bit. So you can kind of just sweep them down if the seals aren't too tight. Just be careful because it's an easy place to uh, to crease it. Here, I have a 2000. <laughs> so there's just gonna be a couple of disclaimers on this one. That, uh, they're not supposed to make that sound. So uh, this is a little bit of a curveball. I thought this was gonna be uh, a four-door sedan, um, which a, which BMW usually has a little bit of a tighter seal, and they do at the bottom, um, but this is a frameless window. So I do these different than I normally install uh, framed windows. So I just kind of peel the whole thing, and then we just kind of are gonna do this all in one go, which some people call bottom loading, I guess. I just call it installing. Sometimes these are a little bit sticky. I'll spray them down. I try and keep the top from going over, like the top of the film from going over the top of the window. And then I'll just kind of peel the seal back and then slide the whole thing down. And this one's actually going really nice. If the window is slick, these are pretty straightforward to do. And then we just kind of wiggle it in place. See how my plotter did. These are also a little funny because they get this dot matrix on the side. So you want to butt this up as close as you can to like the very edge or else it's going to peel if it's just stuck to these dots down here. And it still might, um, but they're usually okay. But you just want to try and get it as close because there's like a little bit more glass here than not. But yeah, from there, we're just going to squeegee it out and then I'll have my window installed. Easy peasy. I will make a bottom loading video in the future. It's just not something I do on a regular basis, but I've seen a lot of people ask about it. Now that I understand it a little bit more, because I always just two-stage everything, except for frameless doors, I think it'd probably be a good video to make. So I don't know when that would come out, but it's on my mind. So there we go, BMW window all set. All right, so we're gonna do 
passenger side on the BMW 3 Series. The 3 Series 328i. So again, same thing. It's a little bit harder when you have to kind of like reverse hands, but I gotta hold this up and then I'm gonna kind of just do what I can. See where my film is bumping at the very end and then work on freeing up those spots and then tuck the rest in, slide it over. Went a little far down, but it's okay. These usually stick a little bit for me as well. So um, hopefully this doesn't just come and bite me in the ass right now because I'm talking about it, but yeah, there we go. Sometimes it'll like pick a couple of points and just stick. So um, keep that in mind. You can try and get something to clean the glass and help with that. Uh, if, if it's like, you know, add a little extra soap um, and whatever else to try and uh, clear that up. Because um, you want your film to slide, like that's gonna make it much easier if it starts to stick. I've always had a hard problem with frameless doors if they're sticking too much. Um, but there we go. But these went, went really, really nicely. My bottom. And that's it. We don't have time to screw around today. We just gotta get them in, get them done, get them out. These ones have felt on them. And I'm not gonna tape them because I'm super good. And I don't need to do that. The outside seal is taller than the inside seal. So, it means that you have to tuck it farther on the inside, or you have to compensate for that um, to get below that bottom seal. But like I said, this is this is flatter stuff right here. And then the other tricky thing about these um, that I used to get questions about, but these aren't very common anymore. It, but though, like this this type of thing will pop up on other cars as well, where the panel comes up around here. So. I will do the same thing I usually do. I'll just kind of pull it up here and then work on my corner. But I will, you can pull this back, but let's say this doesn't come back. So then I'll sneak this tool down here and then just kind of squeak it over. And then that's, that's all there is to that. And then, oh, look at that. It does go below the seal. Neat. I wasn't sure for a minute. And then, Yep. Ta-da! Well, this should be fun. All right, so just like the other side, we have this little bit in the way. And I'm confident that this is gonna tuck on this side too. So I also wanna make sure that my film rolls over and just kinda sets on top of it, but not the sticky side on it. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and flush that out. And then I'm gonna just get this corner done first. So just kind of put the shank down there, roll my seal back, and then just keep everything flat. Same thing for this side. And then go over. And that's all there is to it. So this is a, uh, a 2011, something like that. Silverado extended cab. And we got these rear roll down windows right there. Um, we got these front ones. So I figured I'd do this one as the last one for the day. Comparison between both Silverados and I guess the rest of it. Again, these are real straightforward. You know, we have more curvature up here but the whole bottom here is all the same except for this little swoop up here. So that swoop is very similar to what we saw on the Trailblazer. I'm hopefully going to get, well, I will. I'll get to some more difficult ones uh, down the road. This is just what showed up today, so this is what you guys get. Raise that up, and now we get to the meat and potatoes. So again, like always, flush that out. Now. Just like the Trailblazer, I wanna roll my film here, let it hang there, 
and then just pull it back, spray it off, and then I'll do the one with the, the little swoop up here first, just because um, I don't want it to touch the panel on that side. Uh, the very bottom's okay a little bit, um, but I just don't want like the bulk of it to go there. So tuck one, tuck the other, and continue doing what I'm doing and try not to get too sidetracked. And then there we go. We gotta hurry up. This will be the last one of today. I think I said the last one on the other side, but the last vehicle of today. Um, this will be the very, very last window. And we gotta hurry because my battery on the camera is gonna die and I don't feel like changing it anymore. All right, back to this, just like we did on the other one. We're gonna flush out the bottom. And then again, wet the liner and just make sure all my dirt has been flushed. Peel up one corner, roll up my edge, tuck this in. So you can see you can change things up a little bit from window to window. It's not an exact science and everybody's got their little way of doing it. This is just what I'm doing on this window right now. Zoop. All right, and I'm gonna close out while I'm wiping this off. So, hope that was helpful to you guys. Um, I'm going to do a lot more of these types of videos, I think. So just kind of a blitz through maybe shrinking multiple back windows in a day, installing multiple windows, you know, just portions of it, because I think it's good to see one after the next, after the next, after the next on various cars. Um, there are definitely more difficult ones than I had today, and I hope to show those in the future. I definitely will as soon as I get them, but thanks for watching. Be sure to, I don't know, whatever, watch another video, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.